But what does this mean for you? <laughs> well, as you can see here, <laughs> Rounded Tic Tac is uh, totally and completely satisfied with the amount of content available in Fortnite Save the World, and uh, he's actually standing right outside the Fortnite uh, development uh, building. <laughs> RTT ready to go. When you're ready, hit the button and the speech will begin. Oh my god. This is gonna be a disaster. You ready, Mackers? No. I have to talk. Just, just, just set go it. For it. Here we go. Hello, my name is Rounded Tic Tac, and my talk is. <laughs> How to transition to a coochie based diet. How do you transition to a coochie-based diet? First, you have to go into the woods and uh, just hug trees all day long. A lot of tree hugging that leads to hip hugging. You guys got that? Hip hugging and tree hugging. Only a real idiot would dispute this fact. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> So confusing. <laughs> as you can see, Anski, as a young boy, was went to my my Gucci loving <laughs> school, and he became a great tree hugging, Gucci eating uh, Episcopalian. I am to blame, and here's why. <laughs> as you can see, I like to eat exotic meat here in the coochie loving school to get used to kissing coochies. We practice on baby hippo's lips. <laughs> it's better if they're nice and moist and they've been hanging out in a bunch of lily pads, but once you get down to the nitty gritty of it, <laughs> the kissing of the coochie is quite similar to hippo lips. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to be so bad. Okay, so half of your score comes from engagement. You know how many times people hit buttons. And the other half comes from the value judgments on the graph. You know how a graph works. Put it together, and that's your score. Holy shit! And don't forget... And we vote on how well you're doing. Hello, my name is not Gerard, and my talk is... <laughs> Everyone panic, we are almost out of Fortnite content. <laughs> As you can see here, this is, these are the Fortnite developers hard at work on the next update to Fortnite Save the World. I have to type on this. You, you click when you want the next slide, or you can type. Fortnite in natural habitat. <laughs> the following is a commonly believed myth. <laughs> that playing Fortnite will increase the size and quantity of your hot dog. Um, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, as you can see here. <laughs> but what does this mean for you? <laughs> well, as you can see here, <laughs> Rounded Tic Tac is uh, totally and completely satisfied with the amount of content available in Fortnite Save the World, and uh, he's actually standing right outside the Fortnite uh, development uh, building. <laughs> RTT ready Thank to go. You. Well done, dude. Well Time done. Time to check the graph. Cinnamon and betrayal made me the person I am today. <laughs> so that's why I shouldn't have clicked that. All right. So here we have a photo 
of um, my mother <laughs> saying that she loves me. Um, and it's really uh, heartwarming, as you can see. And um, yeah, I have no ears. <laughs> 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 this next pitch will give you hope. What? And here's why. Yes, this is the part where I arrived on my first day of school. Um, <laughs> I'm, I made so many friends, um, and that's when the debt started, when I was 13. Also, apparently I didn't go to school when I was four. Um, and my teacher called me the money sucker. So that's nice. Uh, that's actually true. I was called a money sucker. Um, burn this image into your memory. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. This is this this is why I have no friends. I'm at the one. You're on the left uh, in the panda costume. Uh, also, side note, <laughs> pandas. Pandas aren't real. Everything is just people dressed up in costumes. If you don't believe it, look at a panda. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh. oh, my name is Abigail, and today my talk is about life too short to spend it being Tic Tac. You. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is how Tic Tacs looks daily. He just sits in a dark room and watching some fucked up porn and playing Save the World and I think he got fetish to Headhunter. Uh, yeah. So, uh, here's an interesting thing. Um, when Tic Tac was younger, his dad used to beat him. <laughs> He used to beat him so fucking hard. That's fucked up. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> he would just stick <laughs> his nose <laughs> into his butt and just stick his head into his asshole so hard. And this is why Tic Tac got such a fetish to Fortnite. He's got the hots for the smashers, I'm telling you. He just sits all day and making Fortnite content and just watching Fortnite porn. So, uh, what does this mean for humans? <laughs> Basically, what? it means one thing only. Tic Tac should be kept locked up <laughs> in a room with a phone when he, when he can't see anything. He can communicate with the world, but he cannot see anything at all. We just give him traumas of his dad sticking his, uh, his nose into his asshole, Stop which is voting. so sad. Like, I feel so bad for you, Tic Tac. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Hello, my name is Moob. And my talk is... You gotta click next slide. I saw a penis and it changed my life. Yeah, it did. Congratulations. <laughs> this is the very first time I saw a penis. We went out as a family together to the prairie park. And this buffalo just came running up on this bitch. <laughs> Balls are hanging. <laughs> this is where the trauma started. I didn't know we could draw in the picture. Since when? Keep reading, honey bunny. In the interest of fairness, let's talk about the opposing argument and why it's stupid. <laughs> Here, you can see a common cock <laughs> drawing the paper from the uh, magic money machine. Hello. Magic cock. Uh, in an ideal world, we could have this. <laughs> Um, 
um, on all bison. So no more children. <laughs> Have to be scarred ever again by bison chicken balls. Thank you. Yeah, me too, Shasha. Hello, my name is Depression Machine, and my talk is <laughs> the reasons I won't tell a friend they have a swastika <laughs> on their face. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, as, you, as you can see here, during, during the war, we were we were tied to chairs facing each other. <laughs> and this prisoner's war they drew a swastika on my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I just couldn't bring myself to tell them that they had a swastika on their back. Why is that a thing? It is something that can be shot at As you can see by this picture, balls and chains are something that keeps me up at night because I am terrified of commitment. <laughs> now you might be asking yourself, how did we get here? Well, let me explain. <laughs> you know, you see, metaphorically, one day I was just walking woods on a nice trail and I didn't look at the signs and I made a left turn where I should have made a right turn. And this is how I ended up here. Pog, ten months already. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anski and my talk is I didn't know true love until I met garlic bread. <laughs> um garlic bread is a delicacy which is very well known and very. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy salad after eating my garlic bread because it is refreshing. It's <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no. Here's a metaphor that perfectly describes love. <laughs> Old people. I love old people, especially in groups. I prefer orgies over <laughs> old people. The sagginess is very delight uh, delighting. How uh, does it feel when we're together? Absolute garbage. I hate everybody. Especially <laughs> old people. <laughs> oh my God, old people. <laughs> I only love them for their uh... saggy skin. <laughs> saggy skin. <laughs> saggy skin and lippy coochie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the data is coming in. Why did you pick that?